Now we may want to add some rough texture to the surface and you'll recall that when we first opened this uh, canvas we set the paper texture to be artist canvas but I did mention that you don't actually see that rough texture on the surface. Well if you do want to see it on the surface this is one way to set it up and that is you go to the effects surface control apply surface texture and using paper you'll see that we actually have an embossment of the surface texture. Now what I find is it's usually a bit too shiny and there's a little bit too boldness so I reduce the shine to zero and the amount I lower and then we'll see that if I zoom in here we have that paper texture. Now one thing is that um, there's a lot of pixels in this canvas and that's a very very small scale of paper texture so I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go to window paper panels papers and we'll see here we have a scale slider so I'm going to make that paper a lot larger scale and I'm going to try that effect again. By the way in the effects menu the last eff effect used appears at the top there as a shortcut and so now let's just apply that and et voila there we have a lovely rough piece of paper with that artist canvas embossed into it. If you wish your images in Painter to look similar on the screen to what they look like when you're in Photoshop then I would recommend that you go to Canvas Color Management Settings and you change the default RGB profile to Adobe RGB 1998. Now if this piece of paper or any canvas that you create like this is something that you want to use again and again not only is there the canvas presets when you first go to the file new dialog box but you can also save this as a template very easily and to do that you would just go file save as and you would go to the Corel Painter X3 application folder so on a Macintosh that's in the applications Corel Painter X3 on a PC that would be in the C drive program files Corel Painter X3 and then if you open up the support files folder you'll see another folder called templates and you open up that and you'll see there's one item in there which is the default template that's in there and basically if you save any file as a RIF file that's the native format for Painter raster image file format then it can be opened up very very easily from within the program and I'll just show you that in a moment. Notice that we've now got the embedded profile as Adobe RGB 1998. So let's just give it a name that reflects what it is. 24 by 16 at 150 and it's beige and it's got some texture. For this to work as a template we have to save it as a RIF, the native format of Painter, raster image file format. It needs to restart in order for the template to be active. And now we've restarted Painter X3. We'll go to the File, Open Template, and there it is. Look at that. So we just grab it from there, and hey presto, anytime we want to work with this particular paper with this texture, we've got it at our fingertips. And notice if we go to the Welcome window, we can actually open that from within the templates there as well so we can even open it right away from the beginning.